Welcome back, everybody, to Larry's Fountain Pens. I'm Larry. This is episode number 153. I hope everybody is well and uh, having just a wonderful time getting together with your friends, families, enjoying fountain pen stories, sharing fountain pens, and your inks, and just having a, a fun time. That's what we do, right, when we're around people that have fountain pens. At least I do. Today, I am going to talk to you about my mid to higher end fountain pens. I've done the lower end in the mid range, so now I'm going to do the mid to higher range. I've had some difficult times doing that, as you all know if you keep up with my channel, that I love all my fountain pens, so I'm, I'm attached to every one of them, so it's difficult when somebody asks me, Larry, what's your favorite fountain pen? Which pen do you use the most? Why do you like this? Why do you like that? Well, you know, those are all the right questions, but I'll give you all the I don't know answers because to wrap it all in one lump sum, I love all of them. Each pen has a characteristic about it that I like and that I'm drawn to. Um, so, I'm going to give you my top 10, right? No, a top 11. I tried. And what you see on the, this one on this video, for right now, that doesn't mean it's going to stay like this on the next time I do this, because it most likely will change. And when I do the pins, it's no particular order that they're coming in, so I'm just going to lay them down at random. No writing test, not going to do any of that, just going to show you what my mid to higher range pins are. Nobody else's but mine. So, I hope you enjoy. Relax. Go get some popcorn. Have a soda. Take your favorite fountain pen out. Have your paper. And you can write your list down as well. And see how many we connect together. We might get one, two. We might get none. But that's alright. Because we each have our own likes. Right? Okay, here we go. Ta-da! First one. It's Sailor. King of Pins. That's a 21K with an ebonite feed. That's a medium nib. Wonderful, delightful pen. I like big pens with girth on it. Cigar shape. It delivers over and over again. And it just... A pleasure to write with such an elegant pen. It lays down the ink and I just have a great time with it. Next one is the Van Scanti Homo Safian Bronze. Uh, this is a, another sweet pen that I really like. I'm sure you're all familiar with the pen. Maybe there's some new uh, fountain pen folks out there that are not, but this is made from lava from the Mount Etna. Etna, E-T-N-A, volcano in Italy. And it's... Uh, lava is virtually unbreakable, it says. It's comfortable and warm to the touch. Now with that... I beg to differ. That's for me. People will swear by it, but for me, it's not warm to the touch. It's comfortable, but I've yet to feel the warmth in it. But you know, like I said, everybody's different. You may get a warm charge out of it, dynamite, but I don't. But this pen is just delightful to use. It's uh, a feature is a, it's a power filler made of titanium to resist the ink corrosion. And it's a two-tone, medium 23K palladium nib, 
they call it the Dream Touch nib, and I love this pen. It lays down the ink. It's what I like. It's uh, it's just a pleasure to write with. It has its own personality, and I use it quite a bit. Would I ever get rid of it? Never. Now, we're going to come to the Vanscotti Opera Club, I believe. Hopefully, I got it right this time. Here's a, a pen that caught my eye because I, I, I love the way this pen is made. I like the the color and the, and the swirls that are in it. Uh, and this pen, as the previous one, has a fantastic nib. It feels great in my hands, and it lays down the ink. Um, and this is uh, number 35 out of 70, and just a fantastic palladium nib that I can just write all day, and I don't get tired of uh, using this pen. I've inked this pen up since I had it, like four times. I just have a, a lot of fun with my pens. That's just me interacting with my pens. But anyway, this is another Italian-made pen. So, now we're going to take a journey and go to Pelican. I'm sure a lot of you own these pens or know about these pens. But for all the newbies out there, these are just some of the mid to higher range pens that you can find out in the pen world. So the Pelican, this is the M100. It's an 18K Go medium nib. Beautiful nib. Let me just show you the nib real quick. Beautiful nib. Pelican puts out some dynamite good looking nibs and this pen can lay down the ink and it's just a pleasure to write with it as well love the pen the next one coming up is the pelican yes another pelican the 800 this also has the uh, 18k gold medium nib and just a pleasure to write with I like the colors, so why did I get two back to back? Well, the thousand is bigger than the eight hundred, and the thousand has the green, and the eight hundred has the blue, and I like the black and uh, green and black and blue combination. So I said, you know what? I've saved the money. Get it, get it while you can. So I got it. Next one coming down is uh, I'm sure everybody's familiar with this one. And this one, my friends, is the Lamy 2000. This is a 14K medium gold nib. This Lamy pen, really, in my opinion, cuts the mustard. It's just a fantastic writer. I've used it off and on throughout the months. A pleasure to write with. I have no problems with the pen at all. I've heard some folks said that it has a soft spot when you write with it. Um, you have to hold it at certain angles, and that's true with some pens. But so far, I've, I've had no issues with any of the pens. They have all performed fabulously for me. I guess I'm the lucky one, right? Again, we're going to go to Lamy. For me, Lamy kicks. And I, I like their pens. I like their styles. I like their looks. I like the way they feel in the hands. I like their nibs. Uh, so, uh, this is what attracts me to the pen. But remember this, my friends. You can buy any pen your heart desires. May it be $500, $5,000, $1,000,000. If the pen, if the pen nib is not any good, then you have a worthless pen. 
the nib for me has to be a good nib because I can't afford to invest in any of my money into a pen that looks good but doesn't write good or doesn't write at all. To me, that's a waste of money. Maybe not to some of y'all and you got my blessings, that's cool, but this is my list. So, this uh, is the Dialogue 3. It has that matte black look, 14K gold with a fine nib. And this pen also lays down the ink just like the uh, 2000 does. Great. Just great pens. I'm pleased and I'm glad I bought them. Next. The Pilot Vanishing Point Fermo. There it is. This one has a medium nib. And yes, the color is blue. And if you know me by now, I love blue. I'm trying to get in other colors, so work with me here. Blue is just my passion. That's why you see this blue background. But this should not hinder the look of the pins. If I put a pin down here, sometimes it's hard to see it, so that's why I have it in the box. So, this is an 18K gold nib with a twist mechanism, and I love that twist. I just love it. Boom. Great nib. Outstanding fountain pen. Love it. Then, here is a, another Pilot Vanishing Point, and this is the Click version. And this is also an 18K gold nib. Broad nib. Love the pen. As the, as the others do, it lays down the ink. I like wet nibs. I like big pens. I like pens with girth in them. I like pens with colors in them. I'm just now getting into the black pens. And the reason why the black pens, I like the gold that's in it. Makes it look really nice. Or the bronze I like in it. Or I like the way the, the matte finish on the black is. Or the the way the clips look. There's always something that attracts me to a pen. First thing I go to in the pen is the nib. If I like the nib, then I'm going to look at the pen. And I'll look it over real well to see what I like about it and what I don't like about it. There may be something that I don't like about the pen very much, but that's not going to stop me from not wanting the pen. Now, number 10 that made the list is another Pilot Vanishing Point. Let me put these right. Sorry about that. Here we go. Another Japanese fountain pen. The Decimo. Right here. Again, this is the 18K Medium Nib which I like, and I like the way it feels in my hand. It's thinner, not as girthy as the orange one here, the Pilot Vanishing Point. You can see the difference in them, big time. But they both feel just fine for me, and it, it just really feels great. Feels great in the hand, just So anyway, I'm glad I bought it. Another great writer. Now, that's 10, right? So that's my top 10 list. But again, if you keep up with my channel, you know my passion and love for fountain pens. Well, I wanted to bring out more. I wanted to bring out 15, 20, but I stopped myself. I said, I'll bring out two more. And these two more pins made my top 12 list. These two pins that I'm fixing to show you, I have not put the pins down since I 
receive the pins. First of all, I'm going to start with this fabulous Levenger Facet fountain pen. It's got the black and marble look with it. And just look at those swirls. They just... The design on this pen... The way the pen looks, the way the pen feels. This pen, for me, it has everything going for it. I have filled this pen four times. I've been doing that much writing. And I'm enjoying every second of this pen. It's an unscrew cap with a medium nib, steel nib. And I'm telling you the truth, this pen is a superb writer. Levenger has the true writer fountain pens. And I'm going to have to go to their site and get one. They start from $59. They have $100, $175, up to $275. But... If they're anything like this pen, Levenger, then has a favorite pen of mine that will be in my writing collection that I use continuously as I journey through the world of fountain pens. Beautiful fountain pen. I mean, it's just one of those kind of fountain pens, you know, when you get a fountain pen and you just hate to put it down because you enjoy writing with it so much. Well, for me, this is that pen. Big pen, girthy pen, love it. Last but not least, another pen that just blew my, my mind, the nib on this pen. You know, it's right up there with the gold nibs for me. It's not a gold nib. I have the Keras Custom Ink Titanium Nib. This is the aluminum finished body. It's unscrewed. And if you can see the nib, the titanium had that dark look on it. Dark grayish kind of look. It really is a fantastic nib. It's not scratchy. I hear they say it's feedback on it. But if this is some feedback in a good way, then you know what? I want another one of these pens. And God willing, I hope to get another one. I, this is a fine nib, and I want to get one just like this, Keras Custom Ink, but brown, with a tight titanium nib that's it my pen has to have the titanium nib that's what I like that's what I want brown and fine and I'm a happy camper I been looking at this pen for quite a while and was debating and somewhat reluctant reluctant to purchase the pen Why? Well, I really didn't have a reason why. They're, they're made at, at a machine shop. And I guess virtually indestructible because Brian Goulet got this pen and threw it across the parking lot and then drew, drew over the pen with this vehicle and it didn't ruin the pen. So, that was one... Uh, thing that got my attention. I like the weight of the pen. I like the size of the pen. The look of the pen. But I fell in love with the titanium nib. That right there closed the deal and I went for it. And the first time I inked this pen up and put it to paper, that was it. 
it was done. My best friend just entered my heart. Carrots Custom. If you're hearing this review to the two guys that make the Carrots, uh, Carrots Custom pins, you have one dynamite fountain pen. Love the titanium nib. Love it, love it, love it. If you're unsure of a titanium nib, all I'm going to have to say to you is you're going to have to try it and experience it. Hopefully you'll have the same experience that I have. But remember, we're all different. We're not the same. What I like and what I call my higher end is me. You may beg to differ with me and say, nah, I don't like those pins or that's not a higher end pin. To me, these pins are higher end. And it took me quite a while to save up to get these pins. And I'm so glad I did. And before I cut this video down, I am going to show you some honorable mentions that I want to share with y'all. Y'all know this pen. You've heard of him hundreds of times, thousands of times. These are for the people that are coming into the fountain pen world and the people that are exploring fountain pens and just aren't sure if they're ready to jump into fountain pens. So they want to keep exploring, and that's a good idea. But I'm going to show you some pins with honorable mentions. Here is the Jin Hao 750. Beautiful, well designed. Jin Hao pen, Chinese made pen. Got a great look, a great finish on it. It's a bigger pen. It's got some weight to it. And it writes right out of the box. No problems with the nib. Now remember, it's, you know, it's no uh, Lombi Safari All Star. It's not no Twisby. It's a Jin Hao. It's its own personality. And they're not expensive. These I would recommend to anybody that is uh, getting into fountain pens and to people that want a fountain pen but they really can't afford fountain pens. These are the answer. So that's one right there. And the next one is the Jin Hao. I believe this one's the 566. It could be the 588, but it could be the 566. Uh, whoever's seeing this, if uh, you remember what it is, leave your comment below on that one. Medium nib, medium nib. Write really well. They come with ink converters, free shipping. And another, another honorable mention is the Jin Hao Demonstrator Student Pen. I know they call these a student pen. They call this one a student pen. What I like about the Demonstrator, you can see the color of ink that's in it. And that's cool. You can have a lot of fun with these pens. And they won't break the bank at all. Uh, the uh, 750, you can get them anywhere. It just depends on the seller. I've seen them anywhere from 4 or $5 as high as $13. On the white one here, I've seen it $1.89 up to $3.89, but they vary. 
And on the demonstrator, I've seen them dollar forty nine, dollar sixty nine, one ninety nine, up to two forty nine. But these prices can go lower, medium, or maybe a little bit higher, a few cents, maybe a dollar. But very, very affordable, very reasonable. What I don't like about these pens is it just takes so long to get here. It takes about three weeks a month. Sometimes it would take five weeks to get here. And for me, sometimes it, when it takes so long, I forgot it's even coming until one day, boom, there it is in the mailbox. Yay, Christmas all over again. Well, those are my audible mention. And here's all my sweeties all lined up. Now, all, none of these are inked up, except for these two. These two little jewels are inked up. And I'll be writing with them. I didn't bring my other pen I have inked up. I have my Esterbrook, the green one, the vintage, that a friend of mine gave me. Chris gave me that one. I'm using that, and and that's another fantastic writer. It, it lays down the ink, has a great nib on it. Uh, it just depends what pens you want to get. My recommendation on buying pens is, first, what kind of money are you able to save up to buy a pen? Check out the reviews, not just one, check out several, because, you know, reviewers can be different. We're not perfect by no means, and see what they have to say about it. If you have any questions, you can even call the pen company, like if it's uh, Goulet Pins or Gold Spot Pins, you can call them, ask them a question. Uh, somebody at the service desk at Goulet Pens will be happy to answer your questions. Or Tom over at Gold Spot Pens, he'll be answer happy to answer any of your questions with any of the pens. Gold Spot Pens has been really good as well. Uh, uh, very knowledgeable. Very courteous. 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 The courtesy is beyond recognition because when I've dealt with gold spot pens, so kind, so thoughtful, knowledgeable, and he helped me find and purchase what I needed and not something that I didn't need. So... Well, that's going to wrap up everything for today. I hope you enjoyed my review on my mid to higher end fountain pens. And I'll be doing each month these reviews. So if you see different pens, hopefully you don't be by now. I've got to stick my favorite pens in here. And which is my favorite pens? All of them. Well, that's going to take care of this uh, episode. So, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Spread the news about Larry's Fountain Pen. Tell your friends, tell your family, and have them subscribe to the channel. I want to start moving forward. I want to get out there. I want my message heard. I'm a serious reviewer. Each reviewer has their own style, their own technique. Some do a complete history story of the fountain pens. Others talk a little bit about this or that. They go into the fountain pen. They'll tell you what they like about it, what they don't like about it. And they'll go over the pen from cap to bottom, outside, inside. But everybody's different. They have their own ways of presentation. There's no good ways. There's no bad ways. It's what you, the reviewers, like. So, 
subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Also, hit that like button. That's also important to me. And as always, I ask, if you would, leave your comments below. Last but not least, before I go, because I've been asked this question by reviewers, if you want to send me a pen, ink, or paper, because you just want to, well, that's fine. All you have to do is email me, let me know, and I'll send you my mailing address. Also, the question was brought to me, if I sent you a pen, would you review it? Sure, and I'll send it back to you. I will do that as well. However you guys want to do this, I'm here. And don't forget, I have PayPal now, and I have Patreon. I'm trying to get that moving as much as I can. That's going to help me buy pens so I can review and share and show with you guys. I've had other uh, viewers ask me if I had certain pens. I don't have them. Until I get the money, I won't be able to buy them. So that's where I'm at with that right now. So, enough of me, enough of me jabbing along here. I can talk all day, all night about thought and pens, but I'm sure you've got better things to do than to hear Larry talking about thought and pens. But hey, if you don't, you can always hear me an instant replay over and over again. So, be safe. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for supporting my channel. Love all you guys out there. Be safe and don't text and drive. Until my next one, later.